Hi everybody, Fintan here from Dan's and Cloud. This week, I wanna talk about sync tools in Google Drive. You might be familiar with the Google Drive backup and sync tool, and you might also be familiar with the Google Drive file stream tool if you're a business customer. Google are unifying these into the Google Drive for desktop sync tool. Uh, and to be honest with you, I think it's pretty good news. If you wanna learn more about the update, you know what to do, stay tuned. Okay, so Google have made some uh, announcements about the changes that they're going to be making to how users, end users, sync their documents to uh, the desktop using Google Drive. Most of you will be familiar with the Google Drive file stream tool. Um, I use that myself quite a bit to sync these videos. Uh, it's very useful for, for um, heavy amounts or large amounts of data. And I also use the backup and sync tool as well because some stuff I wanna back up I don't want to sync it down onto my desktop and so I end up using both tools and that's kind of the problem um, that Google have realized and they basically come out with an update saying that they're going to uh, combine these into one tool and simplify it but there's a little bit more to it than that when we do some investigation on it and so that's what uh, I want to talk about today is really the update because we don't actually have access to the tool yet. So I use the backup and sync tool, this is what it looks like on here and I have my personal account backing up data on there and then this is the drive file stream tool which kind of syncs stuff down onto your actual desktop. It mounts it onto your uh, computer uh, like a drive basically so your shared drives and your my drives uh, are available there and it streams the documents down. Okay, so, so that's the, the kind of two tools. Um, and I've got them, as I said, available on my Mac here. Um, in the update, Google have said they're trying to simplify it for IT admins to only have one tool to deploy. They're reducing the confusion for users with the different apps and also to have better performance because, as I said, I'm now currently uh, using two tools. Obviously, that's not um, the best use of my computer having having two sync tools or a sync tool and a backup tool running at the same time. Um, and they can, they can conflict with each other, but they, they can cause challenges. Okay, so if you're interested in signing up for the beta, there is a link um, to it and you can, you can fill in the form and maybe get early access to the Google Drive for desktop beta application, okay? Um, the interesting thing that I want to note is that the Drive file stream tool is actually just changing its name from the most recent update in January um, to the, the Google Drive for desktop. So it's actually, from what I can tell, going to be the tool that becomes the new one. Um, the backup and sync uh, tool users may have to do a reinstall. Uh, again, we don't fully know yet. Now, on the more information bit, they do actually do a nice little comparison between the backup and sync, the drive file stream, and now the new drive for desktop and what's gonna be there. And to be honest with you, overall, it's, it's better. Um, overall, there's, there, there's improvements, so that's good. So for Google Drive file stream users, there are four key uh, differences or updates in terms of features. Uh, the major one for me is multiple accounts. You can now have, or, or when the, the new tool is launched, you will be able to have multiple Google accounts. And that, that for me is fantastic because I, I, again, this is one of the reasons I use the backup and sync tool on one and I use the drive file stream on the other because I have my personal account on one and, and my, um, my, my uh, work account on the other. And I would actually like to be able to use drive file stream on my personal account as well, but I can't because I have my business account set up on it. Now, I can if I want to go into the settings and I can change the account, but... I'm removing it then and I'm unsyncing that data and you know so that that's kind of messy I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that so this will allow for multiple accounts I don't know how that's going to be implemented or how it's going to work I'm hoping that you will be able to mount multiple drives but we'll see um, and then the other one that I think is interesting is that you're going to be able to now obviously have backup added uh, for those users that are using Drive file streams. So you'll be able to back up your data and you'll be able to back up Google Photos directly to Google Photos. Uh, in another video, we're going to be talking about the benefits of, of using Google Photos for business. And you're also going to be able to back up from USB, which is something that um, you're not currently able to do with uh, Google Drive file stream. And I think that's going to be very beneficial as well 
particularly for IT teams that are maybe trying to get a lot of data up into Google Drive, they could plug in an external USB um, hard drive and then back that data up. So if you want to learn more about this, as I said, check out the uh, Google blog and they have an update from February 4th on this. Um, if you're interested in getting on the beta, then fill in the beta form and you may get approved for that. And also check out that upcoming changes bit. It will actually give you that detailed comparison between the two and also goes into what you may have to do if you're um, you know, using Drive File Stream now, if you're using um, Backup and Sync now. Basically, if you're a Drive File Stream user, it's just going to be an update that comes eventually later in the year, and there won't actually be anything um, for you to do. What's, what's also valuable to note um, for Drive File Stream users is that you're not going to be affected because we had a change before to the Drive File Stream tool and it messed up uh, the mounting that people had and the names that they had for um, their actual applications. And that caused a lot of challenges for people because the paths uh, for, for uh, the files had changed. And so if you had a database that was looking at that path file, now you had to go to that database and change it. Uh, I had that with my video content and I had to redo all of those. So that kind of stuff will be maintained. So I think that that's very, very good. Um, and I think will make the transition easier for people over to the new tool because it's basically just going to be um, an update to the, to the Drive File Stream tool. Um, one last thing that I wanted to note for those of you on brand new Macs with M1 chips, there is support coming for, for Drive File Stream tool, which is now Google Drive for Desktop, uh, coming in April. Uh, there's, no, there's no date, but April um, of 2021. So that's a, a fantastic uh, news for a lot of users who bought the new Macs. And this often happens with, with um, and not often happens, but, but when there's a new chipset, the M1 chips are, are different. And so not actually, there's a, there's a lot of software doesn't work on the M1 one chips yet, but the, the Drive File Stream or Google Drive for Desktop will work from April onwards. So that's it for me, guys. Uh, I would love to know if you guys use the Google Drive File Stream tool yourself or the Backup and Sync tool. Do you find it useful? Are you excited or, or hopeful for this uh, amalgamation of the two tools? I personally didn't like that the two tools were separated, um, so I'm really looking forward to that and I'm looking forward to multiple accounts. Um, so uh, that's it for me and I will see you guys next week.